I think there's some things that are callings and some things that are just jobs. Artists is a calling. Actually, I avoided it. I think if you were to look back at an awful lot of artists, you would find that they found all kinds of ways of backsliding and avoiding the calling until finally they had, they had no choice in the matter and they had to accept what it is that they're born to do. So that's my case too. I started out, um, my daddy's a biologist, cancer researcher, my mother's taught languages in the public schools, they're immigrants from Czechoslovakia, you know, had to make them look good, you know, I can't, you know, can't in front of all the Americans, and I say, you have to go out and make everybody proud and, you know, go off and be a biologist or something and discover cures for cancer. And like most Kalamazoo College students, uh, I ended up doing something completely different than what I studied when I was at Kalamazoo College. Somewhere along the line, I took courses in things like printmaking, and that was when I learned. That was that moment when you take the instruments in hand and realize, oh my God, this is it. This is why I'm here. It is gorgeous. I just love the black and white. I love what you can do with a piece of copper and just a diamond point going through the copper. And uh, the, the burr on the thing is just, it's just so gorgeous. You get those inks into it. And, you know, fake inks don't make it. They've got to be oil-based inks, the real stuff. You know, it's like, it's like painting with acrylics and then discovering oh, that oils exist. Ah! I'm done with plastic forever. <laughs> you know, you gotta, you gotta use the real stuff. So copper and and, and beautiful oil-based inks and, and gorgeous papers and handmade papers. That was the real stuff for me. That's the moment when I woke up. Why would I do something like beekeeping? Why would I have a garden? Why would I go fishing? Why would I travel to Easter Island? It's all the same dang thing. It's about having life experiences, living in ways that are somehow integrated. I raise bees because it's a beautiful, wonderful thing to do. And I think every one of us periodically gets stale. You know, you've done all the stuff you've done before, you've done it over and over again, you know. Life needs to involve something new periodically. So keeping bees was one of those little new things. But you'll just get used to them. And it's just another thing that, that is beautiful and is something that you can learn to do and develop a relationship with and goes and it, and it can go pretty deep. There's a lot that you can do with bees that are interesting and honey has a lot of health promoting qualities. Bee sting therapy is something I've learned something about. Well, I have all these plates and etchings and things and what would happen to them if I put them in the beehive? And what if I had bees for collaborators?
I went to Tibet some years ago. That was wonderful. And I didn't really know why I was going there. I just knew that this was something that was important to me. There's a spiritual journey involved in it. And of course, I found things that I wanted to draw there. And primarily, it was the people. In Tibet, I was the lone white guy walking around, kind of scraggly long hair, sketchbook and beard. And somehow the monks all thought that was really fascinating. I continued, was waved, waved over to join them in the monk's cell. They poured me a cup of some tea and a little dollop of rancid yak butter into it and stuff like that, see if I could handle it. And then you know, we'd go on and have a great old time together. And because I don't speak the language, and I speak very little Chinese, and I'm basic, you know, high goodbye kinds of love as a Chinese, um, I was basically in a place without a language, which is a beautiful way to be somewhere. And I, so I had in relationships with the people that were there. I drew pictures of them. And I came back with all these sketches of Tibetan monks and nuns, and there's no way I could have predicted that, but it became something that became um, not just an offshoot of what I did, but integral to what I did. It was, it was a piece of me and my life and what interests me. Art is in so many ways different than most things that people do. There's, there's not a, there, there is an element of it that becomes the publicity. There is an element of it that is you know, making money somehow. All those things that are easy to talk about. But ultimately, it's a calling. It's much more like a priesthood or something that you really need to do. And the only way it really works is if the artwork you make is integral to everything you do. If your life is the same thing, 